Welcome again to this particular session. So in the last one, we started off with stock and data system. This particular topic, as I told you, even the last session is meant only for the new level student. We did till up to 7.5 and now we are picking up 7.6, rather you make it 6.6. .6. Actually, numbering is a little bit uh, wrong. 6.6 .6 is the question. Correct. Anyway, whatever it is, let's have a look over here. What is given in the question? Furnishers Limited supplying the furnishing on higher purchase system at 50% over cost. 50% over cost it is given. Correct. And then following are the transactions for the year ended 31st of December. Now first information is stock out on hire. Now stock out on hire means this particular information is related to higher purchase stock account and this is the opening balance. Installment due and customers are still paying. That means it is related to higher purchase debtors account. Opening balance. Goods repurchased during the year 300. When we repurchase the goods, our entry will be goods repurchased account debit to higher purchase debtors account. Installment unpaid 300 means these installment were due and customer did not pay. So my entry will be goods repurchased account debit to higher purchase debtors account. I will reduce the data by 300 because I have taken back the item. However, we estimated it for only 150. So there will be a loss of 150. This loss will be debited to higher purchase adjustment account and our entry will be higher purchase adjustment account debit to goods repurchased account. This entry we are going to pass 150. Correct? Installment realized during the year. Now installment realized during the year is 16,000. Uh, sorry, installment realized during the year is 39,000 and a stock out on hire at cost price. What is this 39,000 is given in this particular question? This 39,000, just let me check. 20,000 is your 20,000 is your opening stock, correct? And opening stock at cost is given. And stock out on hire at cost is actually 16,000. It is also given at cost. It is very important for you to pay attention. Hello and welcome again to this particular session and in the last one we finished till up to 7.5 of stock and data system and hard purchase trading system with respect to hard purchase. Correct. So this is the question which we are going to pick up today to start the session and in this particular question let's see what is given to us. It is 7.6 actually written but you consider it's as 6.6 .6 question correct furnishers limited furnishing uh, on higher purchase terms supply the furnishing on higher purchase terms at 50 percent over the cost so cost is 100 margin is 50 selling price is 150 a stock out on higher at cost now this is the line which is of importance this time a stock out on higher of course it is related to higher purchase stock account no doubt about that this is the opening balance, but this opening balance is given at cost price. So we will have to convert it into higher purchase price. Then further, it is given that installment due customer is still paying. This information is related to higher purchase debtors account. Goods repurchased during the year on which installment unpaid were 300. So our entry will be goods repurchased account debit to higher purchase debtors account. We will credit the higher purchase debtors because these installment were unpaid. 
दिस इंस्टॉलमेंट अनपेड इंस्टॉलमेंट अनपेड मीन्स दिस इंस्टॉलमेंट हैड बिकम ड्यू बट रिमेन अनपेड सो we will first of all reduce the amount of debtors because now we are going to take back the goods <clears throat> so debtors are not going to pay us in future so data amount will be reduced by 300 however we estimated these goods only for rupees 150 300 worth of goods were estimated 150 so there is a loss of 150 this loss of 150 will be debited to higher purchase adjustment account and our entry will be higher purchase adjustment account debit to goods repurchased With the amount of loss that is equal to one hundred and fifty, correct? Then further, it is given installment realized during the year thirty nine thousand. So total cash we have received this much. Then stock out on hire. Now on thirty first of December it is given. Actually, both these information are given in this manner, correct? On thirty first December, stock out on hire at cost. So this is the closing balance of hire purchase stock account. No doubt about that. Once again, this balance is given at cost price. You need to, you need to actually pay attention. And the amount is actually sixteen thousand. And installment due customer is still paying. So these are related to hire purchase debtors. So this is the information of this particular question. And now I will solve it for you. so in order to solve the question this is 7 this is 6.6 in fact correct in order to solve this particular question first of all i will need a scale and where is the scale first of all let me pick it up right here it is so i will first of all prepare hire purchase stock account correct this is your hire purchase stock account because no information is related to stock in shop account or go down account so we shall have to prepare hire purchase stock account also known as stock out on hire account correct then besides that i will have to prepare hire purchase debtors account also known as installment due account also known as installment overdue account hire purchase debtors account because in this question there is case of goods repurchased so i will also prepare a goods repurchased account goods repurchased account now first of all in the question let me put the question sheet before me so that i need not require to look time and again you can see a stock out on hire at cost 20000 is given first of all in this question your margin rates are your cost plus margin it is very important that you frame your rates absolutely in correct manner so that there is no mistake later on rate is given on cost consider cost as 100 margin is 50 your higher purchase price or selling price is equal to 150 so rate of margin on cost will be 50 by 100 1 by 2 and 50 by 150 that is 1 by 3 on selling price because opening balance is given to us balance brought down opening balance stock out on hire is given to you at cost it is given to you at cost 20000 so you will have to convert it into hire purchase price because the rate is given on cost you will apply the rate of profit or rate of margin on cost which is 1 by 2 so now we can say that the hire purchase price of opening stock is 30000 then installment due is given installment due opening balance will be brought down in hire purchase debtors account that is equal to 1800 then goods repurchased i told you my first entry will be goods repurchased account debit to hire purchase debtors account so on the debit side of goods repurchased i will write to hire purchase debtors account installment unpaid given in the question is 300 and towards the credit side of hire purchase debtors account i will write goods repurchased account debtors will get reduced that is why we are going to credit the debtors <clears throat> next entry is with respect to loss entry is hire purchase adjustment account debit to goods repurchased hire purchase adjustment is getting debited when i will prepare the hire purchase adjustment account okay i will prepare it so when we are going to prepare hire purchase adjustment account over there 
I will write goods repurchased, loss on repurchasing, loss on repurchasing. Your loss on repurchasing is 300 minus 150, that is equal to 50. 300 was the amount due and you estimated it only for 150, so that is why you incurred a loss of 150. Because on the debit side of higher purchase adjustment account, you have written goods repurchased. In the goods repurchased account, you are going to write towards the credit side by higher purchase adjustment account 150. And now you can balance it. And this account will show balance equal to the estimated value. We estimated it for rupees 150 and you can see the balance is also 150. After this, we are given that installment realized during the year 39,000. Now, installment realized means cash received from debtors. So, 39,000 worth of installment you have received in the current year. You will write 39,000. Then, stock out on higher at cost on 31st of December. This is the closing balance. Now, closing balance which is given to you is also at cost. So, cost is actually 16,000 given to you. So, you will have to convert it into higher purchase price by applying 1 by 2 rate. So, that is equal to 24,000. So, higher purchase stock account at higher purchase price will be 24,000. Now, after that installment due, that is higher purchase debtors account closing balance is given to you. That is equal to 3,000. 3,000. Now, out of these two accounts, out of these two accounts, which account? is having higher number of entry it is having three entry and it is having four entry so quite obviously now what you are going to do you are going to balance first of all your higher purchase debtors account when you will balance the higher purchase debtors account what balance actually you are going to get the point is this 39 plus 3 39,300 42,300 minus 1,800 that in my opinion should be equal to 40,500 of course, it will be known as installment due during the year. This is the balancing figure. And you will carry this balancing figure to the higher purchase stock account. And you will write here installment due during the year. Installment due during the year is 40,500. Now you will tally this particular account. When you will tally this particular account, what possible figure you could get as the balancing figure? Now, obviously goods sold on higher. So, goods sold on hire. So, goods sold on hire will be your possible figure in this particular case. Is it clear to you or not? Correct. Now, what will be your possible figure? That is uh, 64,500. 64,500, I think, minus 30,000. So, 34,500 is your balancing figure. 34,500. Now, once all these accounts are prepared, all we have to do is to find out the profit. In order to find out the profit through higher purchase uh, data system, I will have to prepare higher purchase adjustment account, wherein I will have to write the loading. Even I am already having the loaded portion. I will have to write the loading of opening stock, closing stock and goods sold on higher. That's all. So, I will write here loading portions now. Loading on, loading or stock reserve also you can write. Loading on, opening stock of higher purchase stock account. Now higher purchase stock account at higher purchase price because now you have computed the higher purchase price 30,000. Now because it is higher purchase price, in order to find out the loading, you will have to multiply it with 1 by 3. 10,000, although we were having this figure already. Then loading on goods sold on hire. Goods sold on hire, 34,500 figure we got, correct? 34,500. So 34,500 into 1 by 3. That is equal to 11,500. And similarly, now you will write here load on. Closing stock of higher purchase stock account. 
हायर परचेज स्टॉक अकाउंट एट हायर परचेज प्राइस इज ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड वी नो ऑलरेडी द लोडिंग बट इज स्टिल ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड दिस इज नाउ एट हायर परचेज प्राइस सो यू विल हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई इट विद वाई वन बाई थ्री टू फाइंड आउट द अमाउंट ऑफ लोडिंग Once you have found out all these things, now all you have to do is to just balance them up. When you will balance, your answer should be thirteen thousand three hundred and fifty. So through higher purchase adjustment account, we have been able to find out the balances. Likewise, we can find out by preparing higher purchase trading account, isn't it or not? So we can prepare the higher purchase trading account to find out profit through trading system. when we find the profit through trading system we prepare higher purchase trading account so i will prepare higher purchase trading account in the last session we have had a lot of discussion with respect to higher purchase trading account and if you remember i told you over there that first of all in this account we need to put up the balances of higher purchase stock account opening balances then higher purchase debtors account also known as installment due account first of all we need to write their balances then besides that we need to write the balance carried down of higher purchase stock account and of course of higher purchase debtors account this should be our first target after that we need to write here two goods sold on hire correct and then i will have to write here by cash that is amount received from the debtors and if there are there is case of goods repossessed <coughs> goods repossessed then in trading account only estimated value the value at which you estimated the goods repossessed will find place correct besides that we will have to write the loadings loadings of opening stock closing stock and goods sold on hire that's all now hire purchase opening stock at hire purchase price is 30000 hire purchase debtors account opening balance is 1800 hire purchase stock account at hire purchase price is 24000 and hire purchase debtors account what was the closing balance in debtors account 3000 i think an installment realized or cash is 39000 and goods sold on hire we found out it as balancing figure while preparing hire purchase stock account 34500 correct now all we have to do first of all also write goods repossessed estimated value you estimated it at 150 now we have to take the loadings so load on hire purchase stock account now load on opening stock of higher purchase stock account higher purchase stock account is 30000 now 30000 into 1 by 3 10000 similarly load on goods sold on hire now goods sold on hire is 34500 into 1 by 3 the loading will be equal to 11500 similarly we will write here to load on Higher purchase stock closing balance, closing balance is twenty four thousand, and its loading into one by three will be equal to eight thousand. Then finally, you will get the same amount of profit to profit and loss account thirteen thousand three hundred and fifty. Both the methods must deliver the same results. Is it clear to you? Not tough at all. i hope slowly and steadily because we have already finished this chapter it is just practice now going on correct chapter is already well and truly finished off we have covered every question of module or past papers okay now i will pick up first Well, 
I will pick up now question number 7.11. Correct? Now, in this question, let's see what is given. Why limited sales goods on higher purchase system at cost plus 50%? Rate should not be a big issue. Stock with customer on higher purchase price one lakh sixty two thousand. You will write it when you will prepare the higher purchase stock account as opening balance. A stock in hand is also given in this question. Correct. So you will prepare a stock in shop account also. Installment overdue opening balance is given. Of course, it is related to higher purchase traders. Purchases during the year will find place in a stock in shop account. Goods repurchased. When we will repurchase the goods, I have already told you by first entry. Now here it is written installment not due. This is very interesting. If this time my entry will be try to understand. Generally we write the entry goods repurchased account debit to higher purchase debtors account. Generally we write this entry only. When we write this entry, it generally means we are crediting debtors because on the presumption that these installments have become due but not received. Have become due but not received. So generally it is given in the question that installment is unpaid. It autom automatically means installment had become due and debtors did not pay. However, in this question we are not going to credit debtors because it is written installments were not due. If installment is not due, it is always related to higher purchase stock account. So, this time entry will be goods repurchased account debit to higher purchase stock account because it is given installment not due. Something which is not due, that means that stock is ours. Is it clear to you? So, that is the reason this time you are going to credit the higher purchase stock and installment not due amount is 36. Suppose if it would have been given total installment amount rupees 40,000 and not due 36,000. That means 4,000 had become due. So I would have credited debtors by 4,000 and higher purchase stock account by 36 and total goods repossession would have been 40,000. However, in this question, nothing is given with respect to installment not due. That is why our entry will be goods repossessed account debit to higher purchase stock account. Is it clear to you? So this is, and we estimated it at 9,000 rupees. So there is a loss of course. And this loss will be ultimately debited to higher purchase adjustment. Our next entry will be higher purchase adjustment account debit to higher purchase stock account. And the amount will be 36,000 minus 9,000. Is it clear to you? So, 27,000 worth of loss we have incurred in this case. A stock in shop account excluding the repurchased goods is 360,000. Excluding the repurchased goods. So, it is not a big problem. So, you need not require to do anything. You will simply, when you are going to prepare a stock in shop account, you will simply write 360,000 because it is given that Whatever closing balance is there, that is excluding the repurchased goods. Suppose if it would have been given including the repurchased goods, then while writing the stock in shop account closing balance, I would have had subtracted the repurchased amount goods. Is it clear to you? Suppose if it would have been given a stock at shop excluding repurchased goods is actually uh, including instead of what we call excluding. Suppose if it would have been written including repurchased goods, then I would have had subtracted the amount of what we call repurchased stock, that is 36,000. Is it clear to you? However, here you need not require to do anything because word excluding is written. Cash received during the year is 10,35. Installment overdue account means higher purchase status account. This is the closing balance. And now in this particular question, one more line is given. Vendor is spent 2000 on goods repurchased and then sold it for 15,000. So it is not going to matter much in this particular question. Correct? So now we can go through this particular question. So first of all, this is your uh, question number, I think is 7.10 let me check it also lots of sheets are lying here and there 6.8 6.9 and 
Right, so this is the 6.10 question. I will also keep the sheet in front of me. 6.11, sorry, correct? 6.11 is the question. So we start with 6.11. Your first target should be to compute the margin rates. What is margin rates? In this particular question, your cost plus margin, cost plus margin is equal to selling price. Rate of margin is based on cost, so you will have to consider the cost as the base. Margin is 50, selling price is 150. So your rate on cost is 1 by 2, 50 by 100. And on selling price, it is equal to 1 by 3. Is it clear to you or not? Yes, sir. If it is clear, then we can prepare the ledger accounts. As you know, we will have to prepare one higher purchase stock account. In this question, we will have to prepare a stock and shop account also because information is given with respect to stock and shop account. Information may be given and information may not be given, correct? So in this question, it is given in the question, the stock and shop account. Then we will prepare higher purchase stock account. So this is your higher purchase stock account and then we will prepare higher purchase debtors account. Higher purchase debtors account also known as installment due account or overdue account. Then higher purchase stock account also known as stock out on higher account or stock with customer account. Because in this particular question, you are dealing with goods repurchased, so you will have to prepare goods repurchased account also. Now, the first information is stock with customer on higher purchase price is 1,62,000. Stock with customer, correct? So, first of all, we will write opening stock or opening balance. So, opening stock which is given to us is 1,62,000. It is at higher purchase price. A stock in hand at shop opening balance is given to you. So first of all, you will write opening balance. Opening balance brought down in a stock in shop account is 3,24,000. Next information which is given installment overdue, 1,35,000. This is opening balance of higher purchase debtors account. So you shall write here 1,35,000. Next information, purchases during the year. Purchases, <coughs> you will put up towards the debit side of stock and shop account. Amount of purchases is 10,80,000. 10,80,000, correct? Then goods repurchased, I told you in this case, our entry will be goods repurchased account debit to higher purchase stock account. First of all, in goods repurchased, I will write two higher purchase stock because this time installments are not due, not due. 36,000. And while preparing higher purchase stock account, I will write here this time goods repurchased, installment not due, 36,000. Then there is loss 27,000. This loss we are going to debit later on when we are going to prepare what we call a uh, higher purchase adjustment account. Correct? Now, further, now it is given stock at shop excluding repurchased goods 3,60,000. I will write here balance carried down closing stock 3,60,000. Now, my point is that if it would have been given in the question, Please pay attention. If it would have been given in the question, the stock in shop is including goods repurchased account, then I would have had subtracted 36,000, correct? 36,000 here 
and then I would have put up. That means whatever balance we write in stock and shop account, that should always be exclusive of goods repurchased account. That should not include goods repurchased account. Correct? So it is already given exclusive of. Then cash received during the year. Cash received in debtor's account, you are going to write 10,35,000. 10,35,000. Okay? Then we have been given installment overdue one lakh sixty two thousand install installment overdue so higher purchase debtors account balance carried down I am going to write one lakh sixty two thousand now in these accounts account number one and account number three are having three entries. But in ascending order, this account will lie first. So first of all, we are going to tally the stock in shop account. When I will tally the stock in shop account, what figure I am going to get? Opening stock, purchases and closing balance. It will tell me the goods sold on hire. This figure will tell me the amount of goods sold on hire. Correct? Goods sold on hire will be goods sold on hire. Important point is that your goods sold on higher figure will be equal to 10,44,000 but this figure is at cost. You need to understand this because stock in shop account if you remember I had uh, I had talked about it earlier that it is always prepared at cost account. So whatever balancing figure you will get obviously that figure will also be at cost. Now you are going to post goods sold on higher to the higher purchase stock account. Goods sold on higher. Because this figure is at cost, 10,44,000 you are going to write first. And then, what is the rate on cost? That is 1 by 2. So, you will add 1 by 2. That will be equal to 5,22,000. So, higher purchase price of goods sold on higher will be equal to 15,56,000. Now this account is also having 3 entry and this account is also having 3 entry. Correct? So out of these two, which one you are going to balance first? Problem is that logically I should balance it first because in ascending order this account lies above this account. Correct? But the problem here is that I cannot balance this account. Why I cannot balance this particular account? Because there are two figures missing. One installment due during the year and balance carried down. So I cannot balance this. That is the reason I will have to balance higher purchase debtors first. When I am going to balance the higher purchase debtors account, obviously now I am going to get installment due during the year. So installment due during the year will be your balancing figure. Now, what will be the installment due during the year figure in this particular case? Installment due during the year will be equal to 10,62,000. 10,62,000. Now, you will take this 10,62,000 to this side. Correct? And now you will have to balance this one to get the closing balance. So balance carried down of higher purchase stock account. Ultimately, you will get 6,30,000. 6,30,000. So this is how you will have to prepare these accounts. Now, in order to prepare higher purchase stock account, you will take the loading of this item. You will take the loading of this item. You will have to take the loading of this item and you will have to write the loss on reposition. That's all. So, higher purchase adjustment account. So, in order to find out profit, through data system, we prepare higher purchase adjustment account. In the higher purchase adjustment account, I will simply write what? Loading. So, load on opening stock of higher purchase stock account. Now, higher purchase stock account we can see is 1,62,000. So, I will have to find the loading of this particular item. That's all. Correct? When I will find the loading, 
वन लैख सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड वन लैख सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री डेट इज फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू शो यू कैन ऑल्सो शो वन लैख सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड इन टू वन बाई थ्री डेट इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड सिमिलरली लोडिंग ऑन गुड सोल्ड ऑन हायर नाउ गुड सोल्ड ऑन हायर एक्चुअली वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्यूटेड द लोडिंग एनी वे फिफ्टीन लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड दिस इज द हायर परचेज प्राइस सो नाउ यू विल अप्लाई रेट वन बाई थ्री ऑल दो यू विल गेट द सेम अमाउंट फाइव लैख ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड क्लोजिंग बैलेंस ऑफ हायर परचेज स्टॉक अकाउंट इज सिक्स लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड सो लोड ऑन क्लोजिंग स्टॉक ऑफ हायर परचेज स्टॉक अकाउंट सिक्स लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड इन टू वन बाई थ्री डेट इज इक्वल टू टू लैख टेन थाउजेंड नाउ इन हायर परचेज एडजस्टमेंट अकाउंट यू विल हैव टू राइट गुड्स रीपर्सेस डेट इज लॉस ऑन रीपर्सेशन नाउ वॉट विल बी द लॉस ऑन रीपर्सेशन Thirty six thousand was the value of the item, and you repossess them only at nine thousand. So twenty seven thousand is the loss on repossession. Is it clear to you? Twenty seven thousand is the loss on repossession. Now you all you have to do is to balance these account to find out your profit. So according to them, the net profit is three lakh forty three thousand three lakh something. So higher purchase stock account three lakh thirty nine thousand actually is the profit, correct? Profit and loss account. Let me check also. Fifty four plus five twenty two minus two ten and minus two seven zero. Just wait. Five twenty two. It is. Twenty-seven. I have written two seventy. Twenty-seven thousand. Just let me check also. Five twenty-two plus this fifty-four minus two one zero and minus twenty-seven. Three lakh thirty-nine thousand is the profit. Three lakh thirty-nine thousand. This is how you will have to find out the profit. and just for the practice sakes if you want to prepare hire purchase trading account also this is your hire purchase trading account in order to prepare the hire purchase trading account you will have to write two opening balance and in the opening balance you will have to mention higher purchase stock account higher purchase stock account opening balance is 162000 then higher purchase debtors higher purchase debtors opening balance is 135 then also write balance carry down Higher purchase stock account six lakh thirty thousand. Higher purchase debtors account one lakh sixty two thousand. One lakh sixty two thousand. Then after writing the opening and closing balances, what else you need to write? You write here goods sold on hire, of course at higher purchase price. Fifteen lakh fifty-six thousand. Correct. And then you will have to write here by cash. Installment amount which you received is equal to ten lakh thirty-five thousand. And don't forget to write goods repossessed. When you will write here goods repossessed, you will write only the estimated value, which is nine thousand. the loss will automatically get adjusted why it will automatically get adjusted because you are writing the opening and closing balance of debtors that been amount due is already included in it 
and you are putting out what we call estimated value here. So basically you are writing difference only, that is loss only. Now we have to take the loading. So when I will take the loading, I will simply write by load on opening stock of higher purchase stock account. Now we have just about computed the amount of loading of higher purchase stock account 54. So I will simply write here 54. Similarly, we have computed the loading on goods sold on hire, which is equal to 5,22,000. And then closing stock 6,30. We will write here to load on closing stock of hire purchase stock account 2,10,000. And then we must get the same amount of profit. That is 3,39,000. Just wait. Now where we have prepared goods we persist. Goods repurchased account. Let me come back to it also. In the goods repurchased account, first entry goods repurchased to higher purchase stock, and second entry we do generally we write higher purchase adjustment account debit to goods repurchased. So goods repurchased in the entry is getting credited. So I'm going to write here by by higher purchase adjustment account. The loss amount is 27,000. Generally, we simply write balance carried down. Let us say I will write balance carried down. The balance carried down will be equal to 9,000. Now, in this question, actually, something else is also given. So, this, ba this balance carried down, which I have written here, I will write it as balance brought forward 9000. Now upper part of the account is completed. Further in the question it was given that we spent some amount. Where is the question? I will have to look into the question seat. In the last line in the question it is given that vendor spent 2000 on repurchased good. It is similar to goods repurchased as we used to prepare under higher purchase uh, repurchasing. Isn't it or not? So, whatever amount you have spent, you will write here to cash. It is given that you spent rupees 2000 on the goods. So, expenses 2000. And then you sold these goods for 15,000. So, you will write here again by cash. Sales 15,000. And then 15 minus 11, 4000 will be treated as profit. Profit on sale of goods repurchased. Correct. This is how you will have to do this particular question. After having done this particular question, this was your now seven point. 1, 0, what is given in this particular question? Let's have a quick look over here. S Limited has higher purchase department and goods are sold at cost plus 60%. First thing which you need to do is find out always in rough your margin rate cost plus margin is equal to selling price rate is given on cost consider cost as 100 margin automatically will be 60 and selling price 160 so rate of profit on cost will be so rate of profit or margin on cost will be 
60 by 160, 60 by 100, and 60 by 160 on selling price. Correct? 60 by 100, you can shorten it to 3 by 5 and 3 by 8. Now it has given goods with customer on 1-4-2022 installment are not due. Pay attention, installment not due. Not due wherever the word will come. It means actually it is related to higher purchase stock account. So that is the reason this entry you will write it. This is your higher purchase stock account. And here you have written opening balance as 3,20,000. Correct? Installment due on 1-4-2022. Installment due is related to higher purchase status. This is your higher purchase status account and you are going to write opening balance, 20,000. Then we have been given cash received. Now cash received, obviously in the debtors account, we are going to write. And then we have been given goods repurchased from customer valued at 40%. Goods repurchased from customer valued at 40%. What does it mean? And further, it is given unpaid installment. Actually, there are two information related to goods repurchased. First, it is given that whatever goods were taken back, those were taken back at 40% less than the value. Now, what was the value? It is given unpaid installment in respect of goods received is 40,000. So, if you will unpaid installment, that means this amount was due but not received. So, that means the value of the item is actually uh, 40,000. Now, if you will take 40% 40 of 40,000, that will be equal to 16,000. So, that is why it is written that goods repurchased from customer valued at 40%, 16,000. It is valued at 16,000. So, first of all, you will write goods repurchased. Your first entry will be goods repurchased account debit to higher purchase debtors account. Higher purchase debtors because this amount is due. So, 40,000, you will write this entry first. According to this entry in the goods repurchased account, you will write to higher purchase debtors. And in the higher purchase debtors, you will write by goods repurchased. And then there will be a loss also. Higher purchase adjustment account debit to goods repurchased. Your loss will be equal to 40 minus 16, that is equal to 24,000. So when you will prepare higher purchase adjustment account over there, you are going to write a loss of 24,000. This is your higher purchase adjustment account. And in the goods repurchased account, you are going to write buy higher purchase adjustment account. Is it clear to you? Then in the question, it is given goods with customer on 31st 3, 2023 installment not due. That means it is related to higher purchase stock account. So in the higher purchase stock account, you are going to write balance carried down. This is 7,20,000. Is it clear? And then finally, goods sold on higher purchase during the year, 16 lakh. So, 16 lakh, it is given to thee. Now, if we will look into these accounts which we are preparing, basically higher purchase stock account and higher purchase debtors account, we need to pay attention. Out of these two accounts, three entries are here and even three entries are here because I have ticked mark the entries. However, this account will be posted first. Correct? When I am going to post this account, because three entries are there, the balancing figure will be your 12 lakh. This will be your balancing figure. 12 lakh. 12 lakh will become your balancing figure, installment due during the year, and you will post it over here. Then you will balance this account, and your balancing figure will be 60,000. After that, you can find out the profit by preparing higher purchase adjustment account, which you know, wherein we will have to do only the postings and higher purchase trading account. Is it clear to you? You can do this question easily. And similarly, 7.9, ABC Limited has higher purchase departments and goods are sold at cost plus 50% from the following particular draft higher purchase account and so on. Well, you try to do this question of you, correct? I will give you a break of five minutes and you try to do this question of you. Let me see actually how many are uh, of you will do a test now be honest and anyone who will show dishonesty he will lose marks in the examination otherwise
So welcome again. Now let me know very openly and very honestly how many among you actually gave it a try. And everyone. I do not know actually how many among you are telling me honestly. But anyway, just let's go through this particular question. Let's have a discussion. We have already finished this particular chapter. This is just for the sake of practice. Installment due but not collected. Installment due but not collected on 1-4-2022. What does it show? It shows the opening balance of higher purchase daters. In the daters account, you will write 10,000. You will have to prepare a stock in shop account opening balance. Installment not due. On 1-4-2022, installment not due means higher purchase stock account balance. Correct? A stock in shop account balance closing is given. Is Then you are given, just wait. Then we are given installment due but not collected on 20, uh, 31st of 3, 2023. This is closing balance of higher purchase status. Correct? And then other detail. Total installment due during the year. First you are going to write it towards the credit side of higher purchase stock account. Correct? And then you will also write it to the debit of higher purchase status. Goods purchase you will write it in, in your higher stock and shop account. Cash receipt from customer. Where you are going to put this particular item? cash receipt from customer that is daters account goods on which installment could not be collected were repurchased and valued at 30 percent below the original cost below the original cost the vendor spent 500 on getting the goods over overhauled and then sold it for 2800 now in this particular question we are given that goods on which installment could not be repurchased could not be collected were repurchased and valued at 30% below the original cost. Now, in this particular question, anything goods repurchased is given? No, it is not given. So, how we will find it out? I will tell you. First of all, just pay attention here. The first information in the question is installment due but not collected. Now, installment was due but not collected. It related to higher purchased daters account. So, in the higher purchased daters account, you are going to write you are going to write opening balance as 10,000, correct? This is the balance given. A stock at shop account. In stock and shop account, opening balance 36,000 you are going to write. Then installment not due is related to higher purchase stock account. So in the higher purchase stock account, you are going to write 18,000 as opening balance. And then you are given here a stock in shop account 40,000. So stock in shop account you will prepare. And a stock in shop what is given stock at shop opening balance uh, closing balance is 40,000 this is closing balance you will write 40,000 over here and then installment due but not collected installment due but not collected 18,000 so this is your closing balance of higher purchase daters account you have written here in the higher purchase daters account other detail installment due during the year. I told you installment due during the year, you, you will write once towards the credit side of higher purchase stock account and also towards the debit side of higher purchase daters account. And then in this particular question, cash received from customer is given, goods purchased is given also and total installment became due, we have written goods purchased. Goods purchased 120 in stock in shop account and then Cash receipt from customer 1,21,000. We are going to write it over here. First of all, I will prepare a stock in shop account. And of course, I will get this as balancing figure. But it will be known as goods sold on hire but at cost. Very important because this account is always prepared at cost price. So when you are going to post it to the hire purchase stock account, you will write goods sold on hire at cost 1,16,000. And you will add the margin on cost that is 1 by 2 of 1 lakh 16 58,000 so your goods sold on hire will be 1 lakh 74,000 now you will balance this account you will get the closing balance after that you can now balance this account now in this account see here opening balance is there closing balance is sorry installment due during the year is given closing balance is also given cash receipt from daters is also given so this could be your possible balancing figure so in this question, goods repurchased is 3000. Now you have found out that goods repurchased is equal to 3000. So you have written here goods repurchased account. In the goods repurchased account, you are going to write two higher purchase daters 3000. Is it clear to you or not? Now the next point is that 
it was given in the question goods on which installment could not be collected were repurposed at 30% below or below original cost now we know that goods which we have repurposed this is the higher purchase price this is the higher purchase price correct because installments are always based upon the higher purchase price so i will have to find out the cost of this in order to find out the cost of this first of all i will have to apply the rate 1 by 3 if i am going to apply the rate it will be equal to 1000 so that being this was the original cost of the goods repurposed this is the original cost of the goods repurposed and you valued it at 30 percent below question has written very clearly that these goods were repurposed and valued at 30 percent below the original cost price so now i am going to compute 30 percent of 2000 that will be equal to 1000 uh, that is equal to 600 i think so that means these items have been valued at 1400 if i am not wrong correct so valued at so these are estimated at 1400 so that means you have repurchased goods to the value of 3000 higher purchase price 3000 and their estimated value is 1400 so loss is equal to 1600 this is how you are going to find in this particular question correct so when you will prepare the goods repurchased you will write towards the opposite side higher purchase adjustment account that is loss and how we have found out this loss i told you is it clear to you and in the higher purchase adjustment account also you are going to write the loss so, yes now in this particular question the balance carried down goods in goods repurchased account 3000 minus 1600 the balance will be equal to 1400 now you will write this balance as brought forward 1400 given in the question that you incurred 500 and then sold it for 2800 so your profit will be 900 so you can manage this question now because once these accounts are prepared, then higher purchase adjustment and higher purchase trading account can be prepared easily. Similarly, let me check up if there is anything else in 7.8. John and company have a higher purchase department and goods are sold on higher purchase at cost plus 33, 1 by 3%. I have seen that some of the students actually have a bit of problem when they find the rates are given in this manner see here i have clearly mentioned here cost is 100 margin is 33 1 by 3 3 so that means your higher purchase price will be equal to this much actually let me show it in this manner cost price margin is equal to your selling price cost is 100 margin is 33 1 by 3 actually it is so your selling price will be 133 1 by 3 so rate of profit on cost will be 33 1 by 3 divided by 100 correct and rate of margin on selling price will be 33 1 by 3 divided by 133 1 by 3 now if you are going to solve it first you solve this one 33 into 3 99 plus 100 by 3 I have solved this numerator and below I will write 100 and put up 1 by yourself. Similarly, in this case, I will solve it. It will be equal to 100 by 3. And if I will solve this 133 into 3, 399 plus 1, so 400 by 3. So 3, 3 cancel, 100 by 400. So rate of profit on selling price will be equal to 1 by 4. Is it clear to you? Similarly, if I am going to come find out this one, you can find out this one in this manner. 100 by 3, this is the numerator term. Now below, you write in this manner, 1 by 100. So your 100, 100 will get cancelled. And ultimately, rate of profit, rate of margin on cost will be equal to 1 by 3. Is it clear to you? So rate should not be a big issue now. And moreover, we have done lots of questions in branch account with respect to such rates. Now, your first information is stock out with customer at selling price is given. 
कस्टमर में सायर परचेज स्टॉक अकाउंट स्टॉक एट शॉप अकाउंट इज गिवन नाउ यू नो द ट्रीटमेंट इंस्टॉलमेंट ड्यू ओपनिंग बैलेंस में सायर परचेज डेटर्स बैलेंस कैश रिसीव फ्रॉम कस्टमर यू विल राइट इन हायर परचेज डेटर्स गुड्स रीपर्सेस्ट इंस्टॉलमेंट ड्यू योर एंट्री विल बी गुड्स रीपर्सेस्ट अकाउंट डेबिट टू हायर परचेज डेटर्स बिकॉज दीज इंस्टॉलमेंट आर ड्यू डेट इज टू थाउजेंड एंड यू एस्टिमेटेड दैम एट रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड सो यू आर गोइंग टू राइट हेयर हायर परचेज एडजस्टमेंट अकाउंट डेबिट टू गुड्स रीपर्सेस्ट डेट इज लॉस लॉस इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड Further, it is given that which has been included in the end at rupees five hundred. What does it mean? That means when you will prepare the stock in shop account. You know, in work one question we did earlier. Over there also, I told you whenever we are going to write the closing balance of stock in shop account, it should be exclusive of exclusive of goods repurchased. So when you will write the closing balance one thousand two hundred. You subtract this value because this time this value is included in it. So now we can say if one thousand two hundred is the normal closing value, but it includes five hundred uh, goods repurchased. So one thousand two hundred minus five hundred, so seven hundred will be the value exclusive of goods repurchased. We must write the value which is exclusive of goods repurchased. So this is the point which you need to understand in this particular question, and stock in short is. Add installment due. Customer is still paying. That is debtor's balance. Stock and shop account closing balance. This is what I was trying to tell you that this balance one thousand two hundred. This time given in the question is included in one thousand two hundred. So that is why when you will write the closing balance, you must subtract five hundred and you must write only seven hundred. Is it clear to you? Then stock out on higher purchase stock account. This is the closing balance of higher purchase stock. You can do this now. This particular question seven point eight. Now coming over to seven point seven. Let me see. Is there anything which I need any discussion? Gross profit rate is twenty five percent on selling price. This time your rate is on selling price. So sometime you have a habit of taking cost as hundred. So be careful. So cost plus margin. Is equal to selling price. This time, selling price will be hundred. Margin will be twenty-five. Cost will be seventy-five. So, rate of profit on cost will be twenty-five by seventy-five, one by three, and on selling price, it will be equal to one by four. Stock out on higher purchase price. You will write it in higher purchase stock account as opening balance. Stock in shop account is given. You can write opening balance in stock in shop account in higher purchase debtors. You will write. Three thousand stock out on higher purchase at higher purchase price. This is higher purchase stock account closing balance. Stock in hand seven thousand is written, so you will write as closing balance. Installment due closing balance you will write, and then cash received in installment you will write it in higher purchase data. So in this question there is nothing for me to discuss, and I have already done seven point six. We have already done seven point five. We have already done seven point four. Seven point four means six point four. So wherever the seven point five is written, you write it as a seven six point five. Six point four we did. Now six point three. I had a discussion in the last session. At least now you try to do this question. At least three question you try to do correct. And even this question because now I have told you regarding. The goods repossession that should not pose you any problem. Only three questions out of ten I am giving you to do it by yourself. So on such note, we have finished this particular chapter very comprehensively, and each and every question of module, past paper, till up to the latest attempt has been included in it. So on such count, we take leave of you. I'm looking forward to have your feedback as always. So stay blessed and stay blessed and goodbye till then.